It's the beginning of the school year and you're looking to do something dynamic with your students. You've tried creating a quiz, but you're not quite sure how to give it out. Or your students are simply looking for something different. A couple of days ago, I had an opportunity to post a brand new video featuring these Google Classroom add-ons from BookWidge. It's one of my favorite ed tech tools out there. After posting that video, somebody went into the comment section and said, this is great, but how can I do more? And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use book widgets to not only create a quiz, but use it to help your students have reading proficiency in and out of their classroom. So if you're looking to do something a little different this year in the classroom, stick around on this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. And welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and thank you so much for making TeacherCast your home for professional development. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use book widgets and Google Classroom to create a dynamic quiz that is gonna have your students wanting to learn more. Book Widgets offers teachers more than 40 different digital exercise templates ranging from self-graded quizzes to interactive maps to even a dynamic digital whiteboard that is quickly accessible on any mobile device, laptop, or desktop computer. And for more information, you can of course check them out over at bookwidgets.com today and sign up for a free trial using this code on the screen. And I'll also make sure that we put it in the description below. So let's get started today and head on over to Google Classroom. So here we are in Teresa's classroom, and the first thing that we want to do is enter her Google class. I'm going to click on the words Teresa's class. And here you see Google Classroom. Of course, we have our stream, classwork, people, and grades. I'm going to click up here in the middle under classwork. Next thing that we want to do is we want to create our first assignment. I'm going to click on the Create button and choose Assignment. Here we are in Google Classroom Assignments. You'll notice here on the right, we have a Book Widgets icon that has shown up here because Book Widgets is now an icon inside of Google Classroom. I'm gonna select Book Widgets. And here we are in the Book Widgets menu inside of Google Classroom. The first thing that I'm going to do is to select My Widgets. Here you can see all the different widgets that we have available to us that we've already made. In the Examples tab, you'll see all the available book widgets that you can use and copy into your classroom. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Split Worksheet widget. To see a preview, I'm going to click on Show. Here we have a nice example of a book widgets project. On the left side, you can see pictures, a variety of questions, and on the right side, we have a scenario with a paragraph that our students can read and answer our questions from. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a copy by clicking on this button on the bottom that says make a copy in my account. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna change and edit the questions in our book widgets. You'll notice here we have all six of the questions that were from our demonstration, and if we wanted to, we can even click and drag these around and change the order. By clicking on each individual question, we have an extra menu where we can do additional things to these questions. Here, you'll see that I'm able to change the question, or if I want, by clicking on this button that says switch to rich text, I can format the text on the page, I can add a picture, video, audio, or any other thing that I'd like to make this question a little bit more robust. Here in the middle, you'll see all the different images that are available for our questions. If we'd like to add additional images, we can click here in the middle and we can choose an image, import from Google Drive, or search online for an image. We also notice here that the fourth one down is our correct answer. There are several other options that we have for our questions. We can add a rationale, we can add a question hint, we can add audio, we can add an image, or we can add a correction and scoring options. We can also click on this button to add an additional question. By clicking on the menu item on the left that says text, you now have access to change and manipulate all the text that was on the right side of that online quiz. In the next button, Title Reporting, you have an option to allow your students to take this as an exam. By clicking on the exam mode, I can now click on the button to enable exam and I also can choose how long my students have to take this exam. 
you can notice I also have a button to allow the test to reset after the timer elapses. In the design tab, we can choose to have our quiz left and right as we saw in the previous example, or we can change this to vertical. Let's click on the preview button to see what that looks like. Here we have that same quiz, but instead of horizontal, we now have it vertical. You'll also notice here, we now have a timer because we clicked on to make this a timed test. I'm gonna choose the X to go back. And under split style, I'm gonna turn this back to horizontal. You'll also notice I can choose how much of the text pane is the image and how much is the questions. I'm gonna keep this at 50%. The last thing that I wanna do is to come up here under where it says reading comprehension, I'm gonna click on the pencil and I'm gonna name this something unique. I'm gonna name it my Monday morning quiz and I can create a description by adding a date. So here we are, my Monday morning quiz and it happens to be for August 20th. Let's preview this once again by clicking on the preview button. Once again, you'll see all the questions that we have on the left hand side, our picture questions, and our multiple choice, and we can even choose to put the words in the correct order. And again, on the right, we have all the paragraph information, which of course we can customize ourselves. Lastly, up here on the right, we can choose to design this additionally, or one of my favorites, we can hit the print button and we can make a paper copy of this just in case we need to, or if we would like to save this for later. I'm gonna hit the X button to come out of the design view, and I'm gonna click on choose to add this into my Google Classroom. So here we have our completed assignment. You'll notice the title, what did Sarah do today? We have our instructions. Underneath of it, we have our Monday morning quiz book widgets project. On the right, we have our due date of September the 5th, and we even created a topic called reading comprehension. The last thing I'm gonna do is up on the right, I'm gonna click the assign button. After completing these tasks, students are going to see under their classwork tab, reading comprehension and our assignment. Now you might be asking yourself the question, what does this look like from the student's point of view? Here we have Stephen, the student. Stephen's going to enter Teresa's class. He's going to go to classwork. He's going to see reading comprehension. And here's the assignment with the September 5th due date. When Stephen clicks on the link, he's going to see the directions and He's going to see the link to book widgets. Let's click on this. You'll see here that Stephen is now inside of the quiz. On the right side, the timer has started. And when he's finished, he can hit the submit button. Stephen is then going to be prompted to send his answers. And he'll do so by clicking the send button. Congratulations. The quiz was sent successfully. The last thing that Stephen's going to do is to click on the turn in button up on the top right. You'll see here in Google Classroom, Stephen has a completed assignment and it is in fact turned in. Let's see what all of this looks like back on Teresa's screen. Here we are back in Google Classroom and you'll notice a few different things. Number one, we have our book widgets quiz. We'll click on that in a second. Secondly, when I click on student work, we see that Stephen has turned in his work we can even come over here and grade his assignment. If we want to return his work so Stephen can see his grades, we're going to click on the three dots and click on return. Great job, Stephen. To see the answers to the quiz that Stephen took in book widgets, again, I'm going to click on book widgets. Inside of book widgets, I'm also able to see Stephen's quiz and a summary of his answers. Great job, Stephen. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to use book widgets and Google Classroom to create a dynamic lesson. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. We are here to help you become dynamic in your classroom. Thanks so much for making TeacherCast your home for professional development. On behalf of everybody here, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.